Takes away now from the great North American eclipse. If you're planning on seeing it in totality, you will notice certain colors appear brighter than others as it gets darker. Nicolette Sangara breaks down the Perkinia effect. During totality in a solar eclipse, light changes quickly in a matter of minutes as the moon briefly passes over the sun. This allows us to experience the Perkinia effect. As light changes, and our eyes start to adapt to those light changes, what we perceive colors to look like will change to an extent. Optometrist Dr. Boshin says it's all about the rods and cones located towards the back of the eye. And that has to do with our retina, the different cells that are in our retina, and how they respond differently in those different lighting environments. He says it mainly impacts the colors red, green, and blue as they emit different wavelengths. Let's use this greenhouse as an example, and we'll pretend that totality from a solar eclipse is setting in right now. Take these red flowers, for instance. They would actually start to appear lower in saturation compared to the greens and the blues surrounding it. That would appear a bit more vibrant. Keep in mind, eclipses only last a couple of minutes in totality, which is a very short amount of time for our eyes to adjust to the low light situation. It's very hard to recreate this environment, but you may notice this phenomenon during a sunset or if you suddenly dim the lights in your home. The best way to experience it is to take advantage of totality in the Ozarks. But remember, you will need ISO certified solar eclipse glasses until totality strikes. And that only lasts two to four minutes. The safest thing during the eclipse is just to use your glasses the whole time and be very careful about how you're looking at the sun during the eclipse and in general. Check out KY3.com for official solar eclipse glasses. Reporting for KY3, I'm Nicolette Zingara. Up next, the candidates.